All right, little update on the S2000. Obviously, got the header on, turbo on. You see charge piping. That's because I got the intercooler mounted, and yeah, it says you're slow. All the intercooler piping is ran. This is some cheap shit that I don't want to weld onto, so I'm going to be ordering replacements to weld a uh, blow valve on. But other than that, I'm caught up on fabrication work for the most part. All I have left to do, I'm going to trim this down, cut a bumper vent in my bumper to where it's forcing cold air in, add a little piece that comes right to here and 90s into the turbo inlet. So it's just kind of pushing air. And then at this coupler, I'm actually going to put like a screen in it. So if any rocks or anything come, they're going to hit the screen and chill. And then I can take that apart and empty it. I got the fender on because I got the wiring done. The fender's not on completely. Uh, it's not like bolted down. It's because I don't have the bumper on to line up the body lines uh, and all that fun fun. But then all I have left to do is an O2 bung on the hood exit, which I'll show you in a second. And I also got the EPS mounted. I used two factory holes and then drilled two holes and it mounts it like right there. I had to spray paint all that black because it was rusting from a battery that exploded. Uh, I did pull the AC lines off, no big deal. I'm gonna run the tuck kit that runs the lines this way. And that's also when I'll be swapping manifolds as well. I'm going to be throwing on some silicone uh, hoses, getting rid of the rubber ones. Uh, kind of in prep for me to get a new radiator because I'm going to get an aluminum one and then I'm going to reverse mount the fans to where they're no longer in the back of the radiator. They'll be in the front. And then I'm going to build a coolant reservoir and I'm going to move the cruise control in this fender and put a catch can right here to the front of the valve cover. So really not too much left to go on this. I'd say I'm about 90% done with fabrication work. But here's the hood exit for the S2000, all titanium, 3-inch. It's going to sound insane. I have to add an O2 bung, like I said, but it's not an issue because I have to weld the O2 bung onto my brother's uh, hood exit for his Sidewinder 9th Gen SI, which is actually coming along pretty smoothly. Uh, we got to run a new catch can, new hoses to the catch can. I have to make a piece to adapt the existing charge piping to the new turbo placement. And then that hood exit's gonna come out right there with the titanium wastegate following it in parallel coming right out the hood. So we're doing some pretty cool stuff right now. He's actually doing a wire reloom, I guess, on his factory harness over there. But other than that, we are almost done with our cars. This should be pretty, pretty fun to watch both of them blow up on the dyno, but sorry, Jarvis. <laughs> sorry, Jarvis. You'll, uh, you'll hate us, but whatever. We're both on stock blocks, so we'll see who makes more power. Now that, that's a healthy stream. We we're at the shop. I got the intercooler mounted, uh, as you can see. Uh, I got all my charge piping made. Now all I have to do is just pull the head, rebuild the head, timing. That's all the charge piping I need. This comes off the throttle body and goes to this which goes to the intercooler. And this is the other side of the intercooler to the turbo. And then I just need a uh, reducing coupler to go to the turbo from three inch to I think two and a half. His car runs. Barely. It's turnkey. Yeah, but the motor ain't running. Well, it's running, ain't driving. That's the problem. That's fair. Okay, we're making some decent progress here. Already have the valve cover off. I uh, degreased the whole everything, really. You can see it all on the floor there. Got a bunch of rags cleaned it up. Next, I have to put a crank pulley back on. Figure out how to set this engine to top dead because this is as far as I've dove into an engine tearing it apart on the S2000s with intentions of putting it back together. When I blew the AP1 up, I just tore everything apart. I cut the chain in half and everything. So can't do that on this one. So we're going to get it in time and uh knocked out here soon i'm hoping to have the head off and cleaned up everything inspected um and then back together by this time next week ready for fuel system uh cage and tune okay so we got it set to top dead basically there's some lines right here put the arrow to the back line and then you have a line there that is going to line up with the head a line there that's going to line up with the head as you can see and then that dot's pointing up with these two lines pointing at each other. And that is top dead. Okay, as you can see, we got the TCT off. This is from Inline Pro. Uh, hopefully, it's still good because this thing was rattling on startup. 
a little bit that thing is brand new though so it shouldn't be shouldn't be bad so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this pulley here i'll pull my water pump pulley and then pull my crank pulley get these off undo these pull the timing cover and then uh start pulling timing because you have to remove this i believe eight millimeter idler gear and then obviously the crank is going to be there so the chain will slide off and then you lift the whole assembly up set it on your table replace your chain and then pull the head okay good little update for the s2000 this engine is brand new and when i say brand new i mean probably less than 10,000 miles on it i've put three on it look at all that those are brand new springs, retainers, and seats. And you can see none of this is stained or discolored. Even the block, that's all, I mean, still brand new looking. Like, it's not even stained too much from the oil. And then, you can't see, but we were able to get the head lifted. It's not off yet. But, I mean... You still see all the machine work on the mating surfaces of the head and the block. So, found a good stopping point on both of our cars. I look like a fucking Peterbilt mechanic. Um, but we're basically going to pick up here tomorrow and uh, cry. Cry because I can't get the head off. i got to pull the intake off because there's a bracket holding it all together. And then he's got a coolant leak on the ninth gen again. Same spot. Fucking turd. 9th gen for sale, let me know. We'll trade for S2000.